3 a.m. I don't work tomorrow, and I don't feel like going to sleep yet. So let's do this. This is called the Keeper of Secrets. It's a story in verse I wrote for one of the best people in the world, my friend Shannon. As boredom crept across the land, the people, as if by command, did rustle in their comfy beds and form bad thoughts and nestled heads. They dreamt of waking, breaking free from the tedium of harmony. They dreamt of money, dreamt of toys, of breaking things and making noise, of taking things and telling lies. And soon enough, upon sunrise, they got up and had soon begun the hurtful things that seemed such fun. Then guilt came like that boredom cloud and made it so they weren't allowed to sleep in peace. They tossed and turned and in their heads the secrets burned. A secret's like an awful spell that churns inside until you tell. They couldn't do the things they did and keep them safely, softly hid. The people held a meeting then. Their leader stood and said, My friends, we can't go back to harmony, and from our secrets must be free. The fog of boredom must not come. The fog of guilt must be undone. To bring us back our nightly hum, I now propose we choose a one. To take all of our secrets in, all that we've done and where we've been, we'll give to them all our unrest, then go about our days unstressed. The people shouted, yes indeed, it made such sense they would be free. But who might take the burden's brunt? Just then a woman stepped up front. She said she'd never done a wrong, though still her nights were tough and long. She'd never had a full night's sleep. She might as well her secrets keep. And on that day it was declared, the woman who was raven head would take in guests from east to west and listen as the world confessed. The people came all day and night, and one by one left feeling light. For all the baggage that they brought, they left for her without a thought. The secrets filled her driveway soon. They spilled out of her every room. They piled high and blocked all doors, but still they brought them more and more. She took them all without one sigh, every prank and every lie, every punch and every theft. She waited till there were none left. And then she called a meeting there for all the people everywhere. She told them that she'd found a way to cure their boredom night and day. The people, they did surely come, some in groups, some one by one. They owed it to her, they all said. She listened to them, cleared their heads. They found the house and the piles gone. And in that space were books and songs. Paintings stood and movies played. They stared in awe at what she'd made. Now make of this land what you will, where boredom sometimes creeps up still, and even guilt you'll sometimes find, but mostly people have in time. They're far too busy in their brains, taking stock and playing games, making things that they can share. These people love it everywhere. That woman, she has vanished now. I'd love to thank her. Don't know how. I do suspect that now she sleeps. Her secret she no longer keeps. And that's for my friend Shannon, who's one of the best people in the world, who people are always talking to and laying on her everything that happens to them, but there's a weight to such things. And she carries that weight. That's what those kind of people do. And it means a lot. Alright. That's it. Alright. Morning.